We come to the first practice point of interest to, to practitioners, which is the issue on associative discrimination. And I've set out in the slide in various places throughout the slide pack where in the judgment the relevant passages can be found for you to triangulate back later on. So firstly, if we look at paragraph 37 to 38 of the judgment, we can see that um, there we have um, the EAT describing um, where, um, where direct discrimination on an associative basis can be asserted. And the first one is, is fairly obvious. That's the because of care and responsibilities for a person with a protected characteristic um, such as such as a disability, and that is the, the archetypal case. Of, you know, typically, people will be familiar with Coleman and Attridge law, for instance. But there are other practical points of guidance that emerge from the judgment that are that are worth bearing in mind as practitioners. Firstly, that there's a dual function in relation to the uplift. It has both a punitive as well as a compensatory function, and so. As noted in paragraph 59 of the judgment, um, that the, the, the tribunal may well have formed the view that the breaches were so cynical that there was an up element of uplift um, that could have been awarded on a punitive basis that wouldn't have overlapped in any event with the other heads of damage because those heads of damage would be assessed on a compensatory basis, such as the Felix. Um, but another point was made, and indeed effectively decried in the approach that the employers had to the judgment was that it's um, not profitable in most cases, given the function of this award being effectively one of, of, of good judgment, common sense of a tribunal, um, to try to slice it up, to look for elements of double counting as between the different heads of loss. Um, ultimately, as it states at the bottom of the slide, it is a question of good common sense and good judgment, um, not a mathematical exercise, which makes it very difficult to appeal. So. When assessing um, uh, and trying to pitch um, an award of um, an uplift, one should always bear in mind there is something of an art to it as well. Um, and it may well be that um, one needs to focus essentially on what overall um, an appropriate award would be as opposed to applying a, a multiplier, multiple-canned approach only. 